That's a tiny mouthpiece. I can barely play the thing. That is the Elgato. Check it out in just a bit. Hey everybody, it's Trent Austin from Austin Custom Brass. Thanks so much for watching this mouthpiece overview video of the Elgato. The Elgato, well, Elgato was Cat Anderson's nickname, and we did this uh, out of respect towards Cat Anderson. This was originally a Charlie Allen mouthpiece. Hold on, Let's see if I can zoom that in and get my face out of the way. That mouthpiece, just to give you an example, this is the TA Screech with a narrow rim. Look how much bigger this mouthpiece looks. And that's a small mouthpiece. This is the 1.5R, and that's the Elgato. 1.5R Elgato. The Elgato, oh, going the wrong way, is teeny tiny tiny. And it's also in that blank. Here's a better view of that cup inside. And really wide, really wide rim larger uh, outside diameter as well. Um, it's hard for us to get an accurate uh, dimension here because of the curvature inside the cup. So where we normally measure with our calipers, it doesn't really uh, measure. So, if, but if you think di dime with a hole in it, you'll be pretty close. This was made originally by Charlie Allen, uh, a great mouthpiece maker who made a lot of mouthpieces for black trumpet players of the day. And, you know, the, there's all these rumors of Cat Anderson's mouthpiece. Clark Terry, who was a dear friend of mine, said that he never saw Cat's mouthpiece from the inside, this way, um, when he was on the road with Ellington. And on breaks, he would take out his mouthpiece and put a 7C in. So, and when people come up, you, they would ask him, how do you do that? You have to think it's almost like it was a secret because they got this, such this amazing result, he didn't want to share it with anybody. Um, but it is in this blank, this beautiful blank, which I just love. It's a gorgeous blank. Um, and it's not for the faint of heart. Um, so we, we always tell people to tread lightly when it comes to the Elgato. I, like I said, I could barely play it, and it sounds like you know a cat getting run over by a steamroller. So, um, but other than that, you know, I'm not going to play, you know, Mahler 5 on it. But I'll give you a little bit more of a demonstration on it. It is fun to play, but I bought them out because I, my lips go into the cup around a G sharp or an A. tones are hard on this bell piece. Very aggressive mouthpiece, probably the most aggressive mouthpiece we make at ACB, the Elgato. Thanks for watching this video. Take a moment to subscribe. Hit us up with any questions you have at info at austincustombrass.com. And thanks again. Take care.